All right, guys, we are back to this job to finally do the joint sand. The pavers have actually been wet every time we come here on the corners at least, so we're not able to use regular polymeric sand when it's like that or else it will stain the paver. So we got some um, different product. It's called Easy Joint that you actually put in with water and with this water hose broom. Hook the hose up to that. Water comes out different um, jets throughout the middle of the broom. And the uh, joint sand goes in with the water, which um, is probably the best way um, to put it in because it kind of vacuums all the sand right down through the joints with the water. So Benny's scraping off some of the excess hydro seed that got sprayed on the walkway when they did the, the hydro seeding. And then he's going to blow it down good, get everything out of the joints. So we got our stuff here Easy joint um, This is mushroom color So it's like a tan If I'm not mistaken um, Air is what activates it Not water Like polymeric sand So it's something um, something new They say it's somewhat permeable Not completely permeable But the water can still travel through the joints But it, And it hardens up Really good Remember Benny? That's that stuff gets solid, man. That's what we're using, because we're tired of coming here and the pavers are too wet to use polymeric sand, so that's what we're gonna do. There we go. So that's how the broom works. The slack jack. Alright. Nice valve on the handle. Works out well. Did we use this with uh, pavers yet? Or just... Yeah, we've used it with pavers over in uh, that small job there. Where we did the square and rectangle veneer as well. Oh. So why are we using this product instead of polymeric sand? And to answer that question simply, is because we've come to this job two times previously to this visit and both times we came the pavers were too wet and damp to spread the polymeric sand if you have ever worked with polymeric sand before or know anything about it you know that you cannot use this product on wet surfaces uh, simply because the polymers in the polymeric sand are activated by water and uh, with the concrete pavers being so porous that once the sand come in, comes in contact with any kind of moisture on the paver it sticks to it instantly and you can't get it off and it permanently stains the the pavers causing you to have to replace them so the main selling points of this product is that it's actually activated by air not water so you can sweep it in with water so what that gives you in the long run is that the water is the best compactor for the sand it acts almost as a vacuum pulling the sand down through the joints evenly and more efficiently as opposed to polymeric sand you have to sweep it in dry and you have to compact it to settle the sand down the water takes over that compacting job and gives you one less uh, step you have to take in the sanding of the joint process the water will compact and pull the, the sand evenly through the joints so you don't have to compact. And another big thing about this product is that it's somewhat permeable. They don't call it 100% permeable, but water can travel through it. 
So that's a good uh, good addition to the, the pros of this product. I think the only con in my perspective is the price. Uh, it is two to three times more costly than polymeric sand, but the product you're getting is definitely far greater than polymeric sand in my opinion. How you doing? It's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, the joint sand is gonna be nice too. Kind of gives it contrast. Should we stay off this for a certain period of time? Um, I mean, if you want to give it the night, that'd be fine. Okay. Uh, they say it usually sets up in an hour or so, a couple okay. hours, but okay. Even if you light footed on it, you'll probably be all set. Yeah, I told you not light footed, so we'll. <laughs> yeah. Those cookies were amazing the other day, oh, by the way. Good. Thank you so much. I knew you were coming yep. back. I wanted to do some more. <laughs> yeah, we snuck up on you tonight. <laughs> That's all right. I'm <clears throat> glad you liked them. Thanks so much for all your hard work around here. It looks great. No problem. Thanks for having us. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. Yep. Have a good one. Okay, so you guys hear again that plastic bag I was telling you about that this stuff comes inside of the tub. And that plastic bag is what prevents the air from getting to this material and uh, causing the, the polymers to activate in this particular material. So that's number one with this, uh, with this product, is not letting the air get to it because that's what hardens it up, uh, activates it. Uh, again, that's the, that's the biggest difference between this product and polyand is that it's activated by the air and polymeric sand is activated by water. Ice cream truck, Benny. Oh! Got him! Alright, let's do our final run through, Benny, huh? Should be all right. I like it rubbing up against my leg, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Mr. Biden. I like when the kids rub my leg up and down <laughs> in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, tap, dude. Guys, wackled. This is the first politics I just put on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna get a bunch of bite back. <laughs> Especially with all these tones, you ain't putting a gray in here. Yeah, we need a nozzle now, Benny. Can't believe it, but I don't have a nozzle for the hose. Neither does the homeowner. <laughs> we left our nozzle on the job we were just at for the day. So we gotta go old school. Finger on the nozzle, or on the end of the hose. I gotta start here. This will work. So unfortunately, we did, we just couldn't find the uh, the hose attachment, the spray nozzle uh, until a little bit after. You'll see that afterwards. But what we're doing here is just going through with our hose and doing our final touch-ups. We're going to be washing off any of the extra excess sand that's on top of any pavers. That uh, broom works really good, but uh, because of all the jets that the water comes out and the bristles, it does leave a little bit of um, sand behind on top of some pavers. So once you're once you're all set with filling in your joints, you go through again with your with your hose and you just kind of do some finishing touches and make sure there's no excess sand sitting on top of any pavers. And that's what you uh, use the hose for, just a little bit of finesse work and and clean it up a little bit. I Uh, 
Okay, so whether you use this uh, specialized broom or not, make sure you wash it off really good or else the uh, polymers stuck in the bristles will harden up and your, your broom will just become junk. This broom itself was I think $160. So if you end up buying this, uh, you want to make sure you keep it in good condition. So make sure you wash it off thoroughly at the end of every use. Hold on a minute, we gotta get this on camera. Where was that nozzle? All right, good timing. We still need it. Crank it up. Hose management, 101. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, that's what we needed, Benny. Yeah, the broom. Yep. Yeah, if you're just doing it with the regular broom in the the water, not as easy. But that's why they get $150 for the broom, I guess. I don't know, better. Way more expensive. <laughs> Very expensive. Alright, bud, one second. I just gotta uh spray off that driveway a little bit but I don't want this in the way. All right guys, well, that's it. It's done. Now it's just gonna set. Mushroom color is nice, it's a good tan. Kind of looks like the uh, same color as the mortar joints from the landing, so. Some good tones to match the house. Sides aren't cut, cut. Okay, I guess that's it, guys. Until the next one, which will be soon. We do a lot of them. <laughs> so, thanks again for watching. God bless. If you guys are still with me, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate the support. And if you haven't seen all the videos from this playlist, uh, make sure you check out the playlist and also other playlists with a lot of uh, content just like this one. Thanks. We'll see you guys on the next one.